Hi there, I'm meteorologist Chicago Windler. Hope you are staying warm. Make sure to protect people, pets, plants, and pipes for the overnight temperatures going down. The deep freeze is here. All right, so the cold is here and it's going to be continuing to drop. We could see 20 degrees at Camp Mabry by the time we wake up in the morning. It's much colder as we head toward the Midwest as well as the Ohio Valley and the Northeast. All of this bitter blast courtesy of something called the polar vortex. What is it? Well, take a look at this graphic from the National Weather Service in New York City. The polar vortex is the circulation that is in the North Pole area all the time, but we're only hearing about it because this piece of the polar vortex has actually broken off and pulled its way down south into the United States. So that upper level cyclone is always there. You just normally don't hear a lot about it, but it's become the new buzzword as a result of all this cold we've been seeing. How does it break off? Well, the polar jet stream actually sends down that Arctic air and you can't actually see it unless you track it on a computer model like this one. It's not visible to the naked eye. But what I can tell you is this polar vortex, which had been oriented right over the plains into Texas and all the way toward the east is now pushing out. Here's a computer model projecting it moving out to New England, Nova Scotia, and into Canada by tomorrow. That's great news. So that means we're going to see warmer temperatures move in. But before the warmth arrives, I am forecasting a record low out at ABIA. The record is 17 set back in 1970. Plan on 15, your forecast. Camp Mabry down to 20, which will be the coldest in nearly three years since February 2011. The record though is 13. We will not get to a new record there. X-Vision radar stays clear throughout the night. Winds do start to calm. However, we will still have a little bit of high cloud cover overhead and that that could keep temperatures from falling even more. Normal low, 41. Look at these temperatures in your five zone forecast for Travis County down in the teens, 20 in the heart of the city. Out toward Williamson County, plan on morning temperature around 15 in Georgetown, 18 in Round Rock. Hill Country, protect those pipes. Bring in the plants, 15 in Fredericksburg, 17 in Kingsland by morning and in Hayes County, Coldest yet of the season for many locations. Wimberley, 16, 17 in San Marcos. Out toward the plains, 16 to 18 degrees with light winds area wide. But I do have some promising news to offer. After a very cold start, we rebound. Winds kick in out of the south and how about a high of 50? By the way, if you like the sound of 50 degrees, how about 60 degrees on Wednesday with a chance of some showers, about a 30% chance, best chance east of I-35. Then come Thursday, 65 degrees for your high, a 40% chance of a couple of light showers, mainly east of I-35. Come Friday, we could be knocking on the door of 70 degrees, albeit with showers, maybe even some isolated thunderstorms and rain likely. Then a cold front comes through. This time the cold front is nothing like what we're dealing with now. Cooler temperatures to the tune of 60s for highs with sunshine this upcoming weekend.